This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer or your printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds and then press the power button to turn the printer back on. This resets the print mechanism. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Once the printer is back on, try printing a self-test page to see if you receive the message again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove the paper from the input tray. Then, press the power button to turn the printer off. Next, go to the back of the printer and unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door and check the printer for jammed paper. Remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door into the printer. Then go to the front of the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Open the top cover of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all of the small pieces that may tear off. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for any pieces of paper that may remain. If all the pieces of paper are not removed from the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Use a flashlight to make sure you have removed all the small pieces of paper from inside of the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the top cover and go to the back of the printer. Plug the power cord back in, then go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure that the carriage can move freely. With the printer turned on, Lift the top cover of the printer. The carriage might try to move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If any obstructions are found while moving the carriage, remove them from the printer. Close the top cover of the printer. Go to the back of the printer and reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn the printer on. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. There are times when improperly installing a cartridge can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Open the top cover of the printer to expose the cartridges. 
The carriage might try to move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. On the front of the cartridge, push the release tab inward to unlatch the cartridge. You can now remove the cartridge out of the carriage. Repeat for all cartridges. Be careful not to touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink port. Touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Reinstall the cartridges by placing them one at a time back into the slot and gently pushing down until it snaps into place. Once again, repeat for all cartridges. Close the top cover of the printer. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. To find out, first go to the back of the printer and disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, Disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into, and plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then, plug the power cord back into the printer. Move back to the front of the printer, and try to print a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Perform a power reset by first removing all of the paper in the input tray. Make sure that the printer is on. If it's off, press the power button to turn it on. Go to the back of the printer. Without turning the power off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Pull the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait 15 seconds, then reinsert the power cord into the wall outlet. Next, plug the power cord into the printer. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Try printing a self-test page again on the printer control panel. Press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.